since I last checked in. We're now in Manchester. We just got the train down. We just checked in at Cow Hollow Boutique Hotel. So we're here with Thomas Sabo. I'm doing an event at the Trafford Centre at the Thomas Sabo store. So I'm an ambassador for Thomas Sabo. So we wanted to hold like a gorgeous event at one of the stores for my followers, you guys, and my audience to come along and get to know more about Thomas Sabo and also have a little bit of a Q&A meet and greet kind of vibe thing with me and Alex. So I'm really looking forward to this. We're in Manchester. I have got my suit with me. I've got my Stuart Parvin suit in here, ready to go. I can't wait to show you that all finished. This is the bathroom, look at this door. It's so cool, it's isn't so it? Bomb, the aesthetics in here are awesome. Like, yeah. I'd love like a bathroom like this. Thomas Sabo must have sent these over to Cow Holland and put them in our rooms. And we've got some goodies. What are in here, babe? Can you open oh, them? Oh, What's bring this? Bring back memories. <laughs> oh, that's your oh, ring. That's mine. Yeah. Oh, so that's nice. so nice. There we go, bingo. That's good. perfectly as well. Oh, yeah. It's cool, isn't that's it? That's lovely. Plain band. I've needed just a plain band. Really it says, nice. like Thomas Sabo. Like, Does it? Around the edge. edge. I really like One that. One ring to rule them all. Yay! Oh, wow. I like both sides of that, That's actually. the goat. Yeah, I do too, actually. That's oh, really amazing. nice. Amazing. So this is from the Kingdom of Dreams collection. Hence, the boxes are gorgeous. Oh, me. oh that's cool. That's for you. Nice. I really like the gold With skulls. the gold bits. Gold skulls. Yeah, that's super I've, I've wanted nice. one of these for ages, but I always get cheap ones and they snap. Cool. You know I'm going to take that off now. I can sense it. Can you sense it? <laughs> I can sense it. Oh, wow. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. That is very look freaking cool. Look at that cool. chain. It's almost like similar to mine. Like the... That is you. And that's going to go so nicely with, that's so with cool. this. Gorgeous. Oh yeah. my God, I love it. Okay, I'm going to wear that tonight with my suit. Right, we don't have very long. I need to get myself into my suit, do something with my hair, and, and then we can get going. Yep. I love this big cactus. It's cool, I love it? this room. This is just the best hotel. <laughs> you seem to love doing that. <laughs> Cheers, babe, Cheers. to an amazing night with Thomas Sabo. Mm. Okay, we made it to the Trafford Centre. Oh, my hair's everywhere. Yeah, we made it to the Trafford Centre. I mean, it's somewhat good enough time. So we're a little late because of the traffic. We are here. Oh, there's my face. <laughs> We got back from Manchester this morning, then I went into a meeting, so now I'm just kind of getting myself ready 
for a relax. Since we got back from Aspen, I haven't had a minute to myself, to be honest. And I've not had all that much sleep, so I'm a little bit tired. And so I thought I would just have a bit of a, a pamper night. So I've just ran myself a bath. I've got my laptop ready. I'm gonna watch some Gossip Girl in the bath. I'm gonna light some candles. I'm just taking off some of my makeup. Okay, one second, I'm just gonna wash my face. One minute. Okay, that's better. <laughs> fully washed off. Because of all the recent flying and a little bit of lack of sleep, my skin is looking a little bit dull to be honest and a bit, it just feels so bleh. So I am going to put on a face mask and as always it's going to be one of the L'Oreal masks and this one is a brand new mask. This is the Soothing Mask soothing mallow mask three pure clays and mallow flower extract so this is for detoxifying but it also kind of calms redness it's much more for sensitive skin so it detoxifies whilst being a lot more gentle soothing calming it's going to help with any irritation so this joins the existing range of the l'oreal clay masks I've mentioned many, many times. Probably my favourite one is this one, the Pure Clay um, Purity Mask, the green one, and the Detox Mask, which is the black one. Those two are probably my absolute favourites. But they also have Blemish Rescue, they've got this one's yeah, Bright Mask, and I do also really like this one actually, the Glow Mask, which is in the red. So those, those are the existing five, and this is the brand, brand new one, the Soothing Mask. So I'm really looking forward to trying this actually, I haven't yet tried this out. And L'Oreal asked me to try this on camera with you guys, so I'm looking forward to this. I'm just going to go all in. So I believe this is now available at Superdrug and it's a third off. For example, the Black Detox Mask dries onto the skin, whereas this one isn't supposed to, so you're able just to wipe it off after five minutes. So that's why I wanted to put it on, so I could put this on and just get in my bath and watch Gossip Girl and then I can just use a wet flannel and just take it off for the rest of my bath. So this is perfect timing and absolutely perfect for me right now with how my skin is feeling and how tired I feel and I just want, I just want to relax for a little bit. It's been a crazy few weeks. I noticed in my last my last vlog how many of you guys commented saying like, whoa, you need to slow down a little bit. And I agree. Right, that is all over. <laughs> Smells gorgeous. And so it's a first hypoallergenic mask out of the range for sensitive skin. Just for that soothing, calming down redness and it already feels really lovely actually. So I'm going to get myself naked and in the bath now so I can't really keep the camera running. But I will see you in the morning. Good morning guys. It is Saturday morning and it's a very exciting day. I have my mum with me and I have surprised her with a little trip to, well not a little trip, but an amazing trip to the Philippa Lepley Bridal Salon. So we're going to go and have a try on because I thought that mum would really enjoy it <laughs> and I would really enjoy it too. So we're going to go try on some beautiful dresses and bring you along. Here we are. So this is the Philippa Lepley Bridal Boutique. And if you haven't heard of Philippa Lepley, you need to check out her, her beautiful dresses because they're just stunning. We're trying on the most amazing dresses. However, I found a few that I am absolutely in love with. So I don't really want to show you because Alex will be editing this. So Alex can't see them. But we've tried on this one and I wanted to show you because it's just absolutely exquisite. I mean, look at how detailed this is. The little bits of sparkle. Gorgeous. But I think... We've decided we like a few other necklines on me more. I love it so beautiful. But the number of others that we just love even more, which I can't show you, I'm sorry. But I thought I'd show you at least one of these amazing Philippa dresses. Okay, so I've had the most, <laughs> I can't stop smiling. I've had the most amazing bridal fitting ever. We found two dresses, potentially one for the wedding and one for the evening. We did. So I'm so sorry I couldn't show you more, but it's because we kept finding like amazing dresses that I actually feel could work for the wedding. So Definitely. I obviously couldn't show you the actual one or else Alex would see it. And a lot of other people will see it as well, which is good. Yeah. yeah. So we found a few. Philippa's dresses, she's so creative and everything is so couture. They're and made. absolutely stunning. Everything is made from scratch every single time. It's just amazing. So we asked, we asked Philippa where we were for dinner and she mentioned Daphne. <laughs> How lovely it is in here. So we're having a gorgeous Italian meal. Beautiful. I can't wipe the smile off my face. So me and Mum were just finished up in the 
the V&A. We've just been inside the museum because we've got a really, really good gift shop and it's really good for Christmas gifts and like little tiny trinkets and gift ideas. So we've been buying lots and lots of treats for ourselves and for other people. But we're right near Harrods, so we thought we'd have a little toot into Harrods, didn't we? We did. We'll have a little, little shop around. Decorations. Christmas decorations and baby presents. <laughs> Maybe some of the for Alex along the way as well. The V&A is so beautiful. I love it in there. We're in Harrods, it's extremely busy. We're taking our time. We're looking for Christmas decorations. It's really, really nice in here. So many different Christmas things. Christmas baubles. Decorations. I'm gonna buy this for Susie. <laughs> Christmas sprout. <laughs> so, we've come to the food court. We thought we'd get some things for dinner. <laughs> I mean, just look how packed it is. So <laughs> I would not recommend this at this time of year. My goodness me, it's so busy. Oh, look at that Celine, that color is beautiful. Okay guys, I am back. It was a, it was a hectic day, to say the least. It was so busy, so, so busy in town. So me and mum, after, after going around Harris for a little bit, we were like, let's just go, let's just go home. We got back, we'd just been eating a few little nibbles and food for dinner and then I just need to unpack and sort out a few things. So I started unpacking and I was putting all of my jewellery away from the event in Manchester and I thought I'd show you a few pieces. Because obviously with Christmas coming up, Thomas Sabo have created like almost more of a gifting section on the website with lots of things that are perfect for gifts. I'm an ambassador for Thomas Sabo and those guys have asked me just to tell you a bit more about what they have kind of perfect for gifting but I have had so many messages from you guys anyway asking me what my favourite piece is from Thomas Sabo, what I would recommend for presents for either girlfriends, wives, boyfriends and that kind of thing which is amazing so I thought I'd kind of show you a few of these items whilst I was here and putting away my my jewellery. So I wanted to show you this charm bracelet as I've just put this together and I'm a little bit obsessed with it. So this is a new bracelet that's come out for Thomas Sabo for I think it's recently come out and I've decided to make it into like a gold and silver charm bracelet because Thomas Sabo have so many 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 charms and these are all my favourites kind of as almost like a bit of a Christmassy charm bracelet so on here I mean we've got this one that matches with my whole set of gold jewelry which I'll show you in a second but we've got like the V in silver and I've also got a V in gold and I mean that's like this compass kind of shape and you know just so many beautiful I love the bee the snowflake so that's like a full charm bracelet and I'm absolutely in love with that right now. Okay so I started to put everything together to kind of show you a bit of a, a selection of things that I love and that I'd recommend. I realised that I've actually got a hell of a lot of amazing Thomas Sabo jewellery. There is a lot of amazing things. So the charm bracelets I think are absolutely amazing. The perfect thing to gift someone. If you know that they collect them you can get them one of the little charms so they can build up a bit of a collection like this. I th honestly think this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this. I think this is a really modern yet yeah, there's something so traditional about this style of charms. Like I remember my nana had charm bracelets like this and everything hung off it and everything kind of meant something to her. So I honestly love this. So this is the Kingdom of Dreams collection. And you may have seen this, I got this in July for my birthday and it's just amazing. I have this and I wore it with the moon, so I wore those together and then the earrings. I've had so many compliments on these. These sell out constantly. Then the lockets are amazing. I can't find my silver one right now. I've been looking for it for ages. I have a silver one that's in a heart shape, but again, perfect gift for someone. These are some of my favourite rings currently, again from the Kingdom of Dreams collection. These two I think are so cute. And that's how this one looks. And this one as well, I think it's so, so pretty. So this is those. And then if you're someone that likes watches, these are two of my favourites from Thomas Sabo. They have this in a few different variations as well, but I think it's so intricate and it's really interesting. It's just not your sort of ordinary watch. It's a beautiful. And this one, Thomas Sabo gifted to me when me and Alex got engaged. It's a special gift as it has like moons moons and stars it's just really special and then if you like this but you're more of a silver girl i also have it in silver because i am more of a silver girl and i like to mix up my styles a lot so these are like the best selling earrings the ladies at thomas sabo told me because i keep wearing them and they keep selling out but then they brought out the huge star the gold star in silver and then they also brought out these two as well so the other night i was wearing this one this one and this one all stacked 
together. So I would highly recommend that as a trio. Those are things I would highly recommend. For everyone that's been asking me about gifts and ideas from Thomas Arbo, those are all the items that I wear constantly and I would very highly recommend. But I'll leave a link down below for the whole gifting section of Thomas Arbo because it might give you a bit more inspiration for some gifts. Anyway, I've literally just been putting this away into my jewellery box and packaging it and I've just got it all out again to show you guys. So I'm going to now put it all back again. For example, this is my current state of my jewellery box and it's everywhere so that's what I was just doing. Right, on with this. We're on a road trip today so we, we've stocked up on the biggest, the biggest Starbucks. Star we've got two banana bread, a salted caramel, Christmas tree, an egg meal Coffee nut latte, I'm going to be on like, the biggest Whoa. sugar stick ever. Today we're on, a, we're on our way to Wilderness Reserve in Suffolk with Victor and Rolf. So we've got a really lovely driver, he's taking us all the way there, it's three hours. This is adorable! So we're at the Wilderness Reserve with Victor and Rolf. They have booked out like a couple of these gorgeous like country cottage houses. We're like one of the first to arrive. Susie's on her way, Sammy's on her way, Fleur as well. So we're all inside this big, let me show you, this big cottage. So Fleur's down here. Let's go see Susie and Sammy's room. Oh. So Sammy's in here. And then Susie is in here. Oh, everything's so pretty. So we're just waiting for everyone else to get here and then we're gonna go get some lunch, but this is just so gorgeous. What a beautiful idea to bring everyone to do this. Isn't this just so special? Check out this bathroom too. Look at this roll top. OMG! <laughs> That's so great. This is what I want in my house. Yeah, it would take so long to run the bath, wouldn't it? It's actually about 50 quid for a bath. Yeah, it would. It's literally the middle of nowhere. All the, all the cars are just coming at the roads. This is so cool. Right, let's unpack our bags a little bit, babe, and get ourselves mm -hmm. ready for when Susie gets here. For Christmas, you can also get your bottles engraved. And there's quite a lot of places. There's like a big list here. There's Debenhams, Boots, Fenix, Selfridges on different days, so you can go and get it engraved. So I'm going to get my, my one engraved. Kirsty, if you're watching, this is going to be your gift. This is my... Great. <laughs> this is my outfit. And my little, um, little wreath skirt. You need to... Oh, sorry, come back up. If you're not already, guys, this is in my recent Christmas party outfits lookbook video. That we filmed um, jet lag. That we filmed, <laughs> we were very, it took a long time. But please go watch that because I've got loads of other ideas in there for Christmas party outfits. Stop it! Yeah, but this is one of them. Anyway, so I've got my swishy skirt. I've gone for the boots this time. I was going to go um, stiletto pumps and I might still change, but I kind of like the idea of these cranberry pumps. Cranberry boots. And then this. Um, Sounds like I'm an indie huge band. Huge fan. Of, <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm a huge fan of this, this top. Just with these like more sheer sleeves. And then my white coat that I can't get enough of. I'm wearing it in pretty much every photo right now. And um, the little metallic bag. So I'm all like Christmas bag. ready. Christmas ready. And I actually have the exact same makeup on that I had in that video. You've the not Armani, washed your face since. The Armani quad. Can you see it on my eyes? Isn't it amazing? I'm honestly obsessed with it. Looking very quadruple. <laughs> Let's go! It's time for dinner. This is the most beautifully presented table I think I may have ever set up. It's amazing. Look, he's trying to like edge the way in. Hi guys, how are you doing? This is absolutely amazing. I saw the ladies building this and it just took them so long and they put so much detail into it. Finished up with dinner and now we're heading back. We've just come back to our room and we've got into our cozies so far on this really super soft like blanket jacket. Alex is What's so jealous. We're heading back to the main building. Oisho. Oisho. To um, have movie night and drinks. Quite nice. This is great. <laughs> She was so well prepared. So prepared. So prepared. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs>